series icon just because I figured he's like a character from the Mario series and I didn't think he would have his own icon. But I know that like Dr. Mario even has his own icon. Right. Now. So like I didn't really think about that. Um, as an individual contribution, I imagined Wario having the Mario series logo, but in, in the context of all the other characters, it would probably make sense for him to have his own series logo. Yeah, I agree. W what would it be? Like, that like silhouette of his like face and the mustache? Yeah, that could be cool. I don't, I, like, I don't know what it, it, what it is, you know? I think in the Smash games, it's just a W. Oh, uh, okay. W or the mustache, yeah. I do like the mustache, that could be good. I don't have any immediate plans on that, but if if someone makes one, then I'm you know, I'm down to put that in. Oh, look at that, I punished it. <laughs> Falco's up smash isn't strong enough to kill though. Yeah, it is weird, like, being used to Fox, how weak uh, Falco's up air and up smash are. I think his down tilt actually kills earlier than his up smash, if I remember correctly. What? That's whack. That was something that I just, like, reinterpreted from his melee design, because uh, that's how it is in that game. Oh, right there? I have a habit of angling shield down um, because it's better to angle shield down with like Falcon and Ness, which are the other two characters I play a lot. But if you're Fox or Falco and you, you angle your shield down, it just exposes your whole head. So it's <laughs> like you're not even shielding anymore. Huh. It's actually a really bad habit to angle the shield down. I got lucky there and I got saved by the up B. But I was too scared anyway. <laughs> that was a total accident. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I, I hope absolutely never gets changed about Wario is his, his death sound. Oh yeah. No, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's Maybe best. I'll make it twice as loud. <laughs> Just make it his footsteps like uh, Metal Mario. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, it looks like a really hard read from Falco there on that last stock. Good job to whoever is using Falco. Oh, I, I should talk about Caleb's strategy here. It's really interesting. So what he's decided to do is he goes the green Wario, and then he makes himself darker. Uh, and then he takes me to Fountain of Dreams, so that he's as hard or as hard to see as possible <laughs> against the background of the Dude, stage. Dude, I would do that um, playing Dragon Ball Fighters. I would go to the one of the stages where it's just like a bunch of brown mountains and stuff, and I would pick Brown Kid Boo. Like, I mean, it's like picking Green Kirby on Dreamland. Like, yeah. if no one's gonna say anything, then go for it. <laughs> Like, we do, like, at least in console tournaments, we do have, like, a rule where someone can request a color change if it's hard for them to see. Right. And, and like, the, uh, I'll always ask shading, people to change. The shading is banned as well, isn't it? Um, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of the same guideline where it's like, you can do it, but if someone asks you not to, then you have to change. Oh, I see. That was a good first stock with Caleb there, but then he uh, ended up SD trying Just to style on back, me. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Caleb right there. I respect it though, he likes to have fun. Yeah, a lot of people complaining about Wario up tilt. It is not as good as people make it out to be. Like, it does it, seem pretty good, but it's I good. Think, uh, it's it's one of those things like Ness up tilt where if you just don't jump into it then it's really easy to punish. Do you think it's better or worse than Ness's, like, overall? Mm, I think it's, uh, I think it's slightly worse, maybe, than Ness's, but they're pretty close. It's weird, I'm a Ness main, and I kind of just made a character that has my mains up tilt. I didn't really think about it <laughs> like that. No, that's just his up tilt in the Smash games. Right. 
and I just kind of interpreted it as what I thought it would be as like a Smash 64 attack. Which I guess makes sense for it to be similar to Ness's if you think about it like that. Uh, right there I, I almost got the same thing that I ended game one with. But he, he was ready that time he drifted out. Uh, let's see. No one has sent me anything. Just me? Well, like, since that. No one has sent me anything since that. Um, I saw Soto posted a few in here. Like, in your Discord server. Oh, he posted them in here. I was not ready for that. Yeah, he did. With the mix up. Soto and Rip did. Losers round one. Look at that brand. Oh, so good. Yeah, like, top eight played. Noah and Graham played. They should be sending me something. Nice standard there from Caleb. Easy little combo. Yo, Caleb on the board. Yeah, send it to me, Empty. Graham, what about you and Noah? You have that for me? I'll go back to see if he's landing. It's the only stage I ever want to go to, is this one. We'll strike here and I'll pick this stage if I lose. I don't know why, I'm not a huge Metroid fan, I just really like the way this stage looks. It just, it looks really good. Yeah. I am a huge Metroid fan, uh, I agree with you. It just looks really good, and the music, like every track that they've made, is great. I'm excited for another Metroid stage. Just for, so we can get more music. I read the tech in there. Everyone likes to tech in against Falco because he has that setup where he phantasms you if you tech in place or tech away. So doing that, doing that fourth throw. Oh, Falco, there's the punish. It starts to become uh, like a 50-50 almost. You either wait and punish the tech in, or you run forward and phantasm to punish the tech in the and the tech away. I think there might be like a really specific position that Falco can put himself in where the phantasm will cover all three techs. But to me, it just feels too difficult to pull that off consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Drifted on that nair there from Caleb. He gets the full combo off of it. <laughs> that was a good one. Good stock. Lots of up airs there, which is really something you can only do against like a fast faller like that. Yeah, and early on too. That move. That move has some good knockback scaling. <laughs> it's very strong. Yeah. If you don't kill Janus, I believe it's the strongest up air in the game. It'll kill like a couple percent earlier than the next strongest one. And he gets another one. That was, those were all strong nares too. Yeah. Yeah, the strong nares really good at uh, doing combos on fastballers as well. Oh on, like, wow, the, that was a good catch there. On the on the floatier characters, you get to use like forward air a lot more. But yeah, I thought that was a good set between me and Caleb. It was fun and yeah, very close. Yeah, for sure. That was a good one. All right. Uh, whoops. Let's see. What do I have here? Uh, 
Uh, let's play Soto. Riptid. Is it Riptid? I. It, there's no E, so I'm gonna keep calling him Riptid. <laughs> is there an, an is there an I? I thought it 